Okay, and onto the sewers we go. Alright, so you'll have these enemies that kind of leap at you. They just go wherever you were last, so... As long as they're the only enemy on the, uh, on the screen, you don't really need to be too worried about them. Just, you know, lead them on and take them out. Two explosions. And this guy's easier to do with the gun because it's a little far away. More of the spike cars. Alright, so now we'll use the third weapon we have, which is like a three-way ninja star thing. And these guys here, if you only go halfway in the screen, they don't actually engage, but you can still hit them. So, just bear in mind that the three-way ninja star has the same kind of stun delay that the guns do, so don't throw them too close together or you'll waste them. Come on now. This is tricky because you have to do that falling grab, dodge the spike car, and they're going to shoot a missile on, uh, missile on legs at you. So. There we go. Of course, don't walk on uh, spinning things because I guess they're sharp. And the green water, as far as I can tell, is toxic. Now, if you're patient, the guy down here that leaps at you, I think you can use the, the spinning blades that are on the ground to kill him. Either that or he's just glitching out, because he's gone. Not quite sure which one's doing it, but since he's a little frustrating to, to kind of land on, I'll take it. Generally, if you time the beginning of your wall jumps when that spike car is coming towards you, by the time you're done, you'll have multiple jumps to get to it. It's usually moving away from you. There we go. On to the caverns. We're going to see a new enemy. They'll have like a gigantic like, car with a gun on the front of it. We're going to take him out to make our life easier. There it is. So again, not too bad if you know about him. There'll be another one up here, but we can glitch him out. If we just go far enough that he shoots at us, we come back, he'll be gone. Which is pretty handy stuff. Let's just take care of both of them at the same time. Like I said, you'll see most of the weapons are kind of situational. 90% of the time, your fists work best. And we've run that one. Now we're on to some wall jumping, which you know, isn't too bad. And of course, the spinning blades will hurt you. Just, you know, do your best. the jump is sensitive to how hard and how long you hold down the buttons, so you shouldn't have too much trouble kind of dodging between everything. There he is. Now his shot should, yep, hit the floor. We'll just take him out before he gets over here. Uh, and now for the least graceful fight in the entire game. I don't know what the real strategy is, but... It's funny if you just throw batarangs at him, he'll die. And 
get four health back when you beat a level, so when I get back I'll have full health again. So, easy stuff.